What is going on guys, Jesse here. So today we're checking out the Marshall Stanmore 3, which is their mid-sized non-portable Bluetooth speaker. And I gotta say, over the past little while that I've been using this speaker, I have really grown to like it for a couple of reasons. To a certain extent, the sound, but mainly the build and design. So Marshall is a company that I've been pretty excited about for a while now because I feel like nowadays there's just a million different companies making Bluetooth speakers. Most of them feel pretty much the same. However, Marshall has really set themselves apart by being able to take advantage of their heritage and making guitar amps and that sort of thing and bringing it into the modern world while still respecting the old designs that people have come to know and love. And I guess one of the side effects of that is the design just doesn't really change all that much year to year. Because visually, this thing is almost indistinguishable from last year's version. You can tell the difference if you know what you're looking for, but for the most part, it looks the same. But I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? And I think if you're after this, and I'm sorry for saying this, this vibe, then you don't really have a lot of other options right now. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community where there are thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. And in fact, I've been a longtime user of Skillshare since way before they reached out for this sponsorship, and a lot of the skills that I use for this YouTube channel every single day, I learned on Skillshare. And one of my favorite classes has to be this one by the man himself, MKBHD on YouTube success where he goes through step by step on how he produces a YouTube video from start to finish. And of course, it's not just for people trying to become YouTubers. There are thousands of courses on here with everything from mastering productivity with Thomas Frank to the basics of singing with Gabriel. So whether you're interested in making a career pivot or trying to level up in your current role, Skillshare has got you covered. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the first 1,000 people to hit that link in my description box below are going to get their first month of Skillshare free. Seriously guys, check them out. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So let's start this off by talking a little bit about the design and build. So we've got the classic Marshall aesthetic here with this faux leather wrapped exterior, rubber feet on the bottom so you don't vibrate whatever surface you're on, and the grill with the Marshall logo on the front as well. But probably my favorite thing about the speaker, as silly as it sounds, has to be these dials and knobs on the top here because they just feel awesome. Like the switch for the power is this gnarled metal rod that just has the most satisfying tactile feel that I've ever felt in a power switch on a speaker. And I guess that's one of the benefits of not being portable, because this design would definitely not fly on anything that needs to travel. And of course, all the rest of the buttons and dials are really nice as well, like this rocker for the media controls, as well as the EQ and volume. But man, this power switch, like, you turn that on, and you just know you're in for a good time. And I also really like how all the media controls that you would ever need are on here. Like not just the play, pause, skip, and reverse, but you've also got the EQ on here, which most other speakers don't have. But I mean, none of that is really new. All of this was already on the last version. So for this new one, basically they made two changes. The first one is just an upgrade in Bluetooth. So from 5.0 to 5.2. And you also, of course, still have your aux and RCA inputs as well, which is really nice. And while that upgrade in Bluetooth does seem pretty trivial and I got to admit it kind of is, it does allow for over the air updates through the app. And I guess while we're on the subject, let me show you guys the app. I just plugged it in, powered it on and connected it. And the app is pretty bare bones. Like you just get equalizer where you can adjust the bass and treble. Kind of weird that they don't have a mids uh, adjustment, but not a big deal. And also placement compensation. So this basically makes it so that if you have it close to a wall or in a corner, it should be able to account for that the way that the sound bounces off the walls and make adjustments accordingly. Honestly, don't really think it does all that much, but nice that it's here. That's basically it. So yeah, that's the app. And again, one of the cool things about this speaker is that you really don't need the app at all, or really your phone for that matter, because all the controls are on here, even the EQ. And I guess you don't get the placement compensation, but I feel like most people aren't really gonna use it anyway. So other than the Bluetooth and connectivity, basically the only change that they made with this speaker was with the sound, with a particular emphasis on having a wider sound stage. And in my honest opinion, they 
definitely delivered because for a speaker of this size and is a single unit it creates an incredibly wide sound stage like it sounds like it's much bigger than it actually is in the way that it fills a room and i'm not talking about volume because it's actually not that amazing in terms of max volume and it's actually quieter than the last version but it just sounds less like the sound is coming from a single point source like this and more from a wider area which creates a really nice listening experience in terms of the other aspects of the sound i just find it a really pleasant speaker to listen to overall and if you don't like the way that it's tuned you can always adjust the eq here but to be honest i really like the way that it comes straight out the box so i never found myself needing to mess with this the thing that really stood out to me with this speaker other than the wide sound stage though was just the way that it makes guitars acoustic or electric sound really good marshall just has this special sauce they put in their sound that always makes those things sound really good and it's still great in this one the bass isn't going to blow anyone's mind but it definitely is there and i think there's enough of it there to give it a rich full sound that i personally didn't feel like i really needed more but if you are a bass head i I think this may not satisfy your needs. So overall, this is a really solid speaker that just doesn't really come with a lot of bells and whistles, but just does what it's meant to do and does it well, which is look good and sound great. If you already have the older version of the speaker, I wouldn't really feel a need to go out and get this, but if you just want the newest thing from Marshall, not a bad option. But still, Marshall is doing something a little bit different here and I like it. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like if you liked it sub if you loved it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace